let's put up the chart of Godrej property and uh, take a look at what that uh, company is doing of course that deal with uh, jet is the one where we are seeing a lot of buzz of, uh, for uh, Godrej properties that stock has spiked has come off the highs of the day but is still trading about four uh, percent higher or so we are now joined by Pirocha Godrej CEO and MD of Godrej properties he's joining us uh, from Mumbai to talk to us about uh, uh, the BKC the Bandra Kurla project uh, in Bombay with Jet Airways. Uh, Mr. Kodesh, thank you so much for being with us on NDTV Profit. Uh, can you tell us uh, now that the project, project has been launched, what's the total square feet that you're going to put on sale? Great to be with you, Anisha. Yes, we are very happy today to be uh, announcing the launch of our project, Codridge BKC, here in Mumbai, in Bandra Kurla complex. As you rightly pointed out, this is a project we're executing in partnership with uh, Jet Airways, who's our joint venture partner for the project. The total building size for this development is about 1.3 million square feet of saleable area. Of that, uh, Jet Airways will actually be using about 250,000 square feet um, as their own global commercial headquarters. Um, and so we will have a little bit over a million square feet that we will uh, sell and lease externally. Okay, a million square feet is what you're looking to sell. What, what is going to be the average ticket size? Well, the ticket size, you know, of course, will vary quite considerably. We have uh, flexible office spaces in terms of the, the amount of space each client can take. We anticipate uh, that we'll have some clients who take about 5,000 square feet of space and some who may take several th hundred thousand square feet. So, of course, the ticket size will we'll see huge uh, variations in that. We expect to launch at a price point of roughly 27,000 rupees a square foot. 27,000 rupees a square foot, okay. And when you uh, see this project getting completed, what is the total sales potential from this? Well, as I said, the total saleable area in the project is 1.3 million square feet. From a revenue perspective, we think over the course of this project that that will uh, lead to a revenue of somewhere between 3.5 to 4,000 crore. Three and a half to 4,000 crore. Any other uh, upcoming projects that you can give us details about? Yes, we have you know, quite a busy launch calendar for 2013. 2012 has been our best ever year in terms of new sales, new bookings. Um, nine months year to date, uh, our bookings have increased in value terms by well over 100%. Um, and that has largely been on the back of several successful launches. And we, we certainly hope uh, to outdo our performance in 2012 through a robust series of launches we have planned in 2013. These include new phases of some of our existing projects, like our projects in Ahmedabad, Kolkata, Gurgaon. We also have new project launches, several slated here in Mumbai, um, also in Pune, in Hyderabad, in Bangalore. So I think we will we, we'll see a lot of uh, new projects uh, from us this year. Most of them will be on the residential side. All right. Uh, what is the outlook as far as prices in this Bandra Kurla uh, area are concerned, uh, given both uh, the retail and the commercial side? What is the pricing outlook? Our sense is that you know the pricing outlook for Bandra Kurla complex is very positive. We think um, real estate values today are quite subdued for a variety of factors. Um, if you look at pricing today, it's still well under pricing achieved even in 2000, 2008, while residential prices are now at huge premiums to that uh, point in time. And we've, of course, had quite a lot of inflation um, uh, during that period. So we think real estate uh, prices for commercial real estate in Bandra Kurla complex have certain bottomed out. We think there's huge potential upside. In addition to the general macroeconomic performance, which we expect to see improve given the government's renewed impetus on reforms, given uh, the improvement um, in the interest rate uh, cycle that's likely to continue to play out over the next couple of years. Uh, so we think the macroeconomic environment will be very supportive. Also, specifically from a supply-demand perspective, we think there is very little new commercial real estate uh, being planned in Mumbai and certainly not, not very much at all being planned in Bandra Kurla complex. With, and, and that, we feel, gives this project an ideal opportunity, a, a window, if you will, where there will be quite limited competition um, and therefore quite a strong ability, we feel, particularly during the latter stages of the project, to move prices up quite considerably. Can you give us a little bit of a range where you think the prices could head higher by? 
You know, it's a, it's a little bit of a dangerous exercise trying to predict prices in real estate two or three years ago. The frank answer is I don't really know. Um, certainly, we would expect substantial appreciation over current levels. And I would say completed A-grade commercial office property in Bandra Kurla complex even today is selling at roughly 35,000 rupees a square foot. So certainly by the time this project is complete and, you know, the, the physical structure is up, uh, certainly we would expect prices to be substantially north of that. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kodesh, for joining us on NDTV Profit and sharing with us your plans uh, for the Bandra Kurla complex and all the plans that you have to scale up uh, uh, your revenues from this project as well. Moving on uh, to the road sector.